Hello, everyone. Uh, today's show is going to be all Scott Joplin. Uh, I'm going to play some jazz variations, funk variations, Brazil, Cuba, whatever. Uh, I started playing his music in 1972, and uh, it's been a, almost a lifelong companion for me. So we'll start with the Maple Leaf Rag, his big hit from 
the Maple Leaf, the King of Rags. So I'd like to continue with a, a piece he wrote early on also with uh, Arthur Marshall. This piece is called Swipesy Cakewalk. And uh, I turned it into a Brazilian piece at one point for a Brazilian recording showing the similarities between early Brazilian music called Choro and uh, our ragtime. And uh, so I'll start this as a rag and then in midstream, turn it into a shoro in front of your very eyes. It's very impressive. You're going to love it. Okay. Swipes cakewalk, rag shoro. <laughs> A slow uh, habanera. This is the only piece Joplin wrote with the Afro-Cuban rhythm all the way through. He had other pieces that just had bits of it, but this is the only one with a uh, through composed uh, tango habanera. He called it a Mexican serenade. And this is the last two sections just for time constraints of solace.
uh, Chaplain Solace. Here's the a piece called, uh, you may have heard of it, called The Entertainer. Mm -hmm.
So yeah, I started playing that in 1972 and I don't know, 15 years later, I started improvising on it. So why not? Um, I'm going to continue with a jolly piece that was also in the stin. And uh, this one I start out kind of straight and then eventually uh, get into some stride and other things. This is called the Pineapple Rag. <laughs> Scott Chopin so much. Um, it's been a lifelong companion for me. I made a recording, did I mention this, on Arbor's uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, it has this, these gonzo versions, but it also has very straight versions a la Joshua Rifkin and um, William Balkan. This is as nice as I could play them as written music. 
I'd like to mention at this point that, uh, you know, we can hear what a lyrical genius Joplin was, what a great melodist he was. And that's why you can transpose him in, in all these ways. But it's hard for us to hear in hindsight what a radical he was revolutionary, you know, what a revolutionary he was rhythmically, um, just to forge this new music of ragtime and to do it as a, you know, second-class citizen. Uh, it's just an astounding achievement to me, and uh, my hat will always be off to him. He will always be one of my heroes. So I'm going to end this little uh, survey <clears throat> with the last two sections of a piece called The Strenuous Life, which was uh, uh, written in 1902. And I woke up with the, the third version uh, of the, the, the trio, we call it, uh, running through my head with a Cuban rhythm. I thought, oh, yeah, you know, that'd be great. We sh I should try that. So um, here are the last two sections of this piece. And uh, with this piece, I will bid you adieu. And it's a tribute to Joplin. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night.